Yeah, what me tell ya? Hey, Miss Mary. Hi, we're here in Momochi where Sean Paul is to perform tonight. We've managed to snag an interview with the man himself, so let's check it out. Yeah, hey, yoga, yo, this is Sean Paul, the girls I'm overall, and I'm pleased to tell you, you are watching Fukuoka now. Da, 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 da. That's where it's at, man. Boom. The most successful Jamaican artist on international charts, Sean Paul has produced three number one hit singles, including Get Busy and We Be Burnin'. To date, his albums have sold more than tens of millions of copies worldwide. Last October, Sean Paul made an appearance in Osaka alongside a variety of Japanese reggae artists. This year, Sean Paul's video So Fine was even nominated for an award at this year's Video Music Awards at MTV Japan. Sean Paul's most recent album, Imperial Blaze, debuted at number one in Japan, selling over 50,000 copies in its first week. Having just released two new singles, Sean Paul now finds himself back in Japan temporarily before heading over to Korea. The last time I came here, I didn't see the sea. So now I'm getting a different view. Um, I guess I'll probably take a walk down there later and see what's up. So you were nominated for Best Reggae Video at the MTV Japan Video Music Awards this year. And I was wondering if you had any plans to make an appearance at the award show. Um, I'm, 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 I got that information from Twitter. Oh, really? I, I, yeah, I, had I, no I, I had no idea. People kept saying congrats on Twitter, and I was like, oh wow. And so, I don't know, I'd love to. So, so let's see what happens. In yeah. the next couple of weeks, I'll probably be able to plan to come. A lot of artists say that sometimes their performances sound different depending on where they are in the world. I'm yeah. wondering what's different about your performances in Japan, if anything. I know that Japanese, there's a lot more Japanese people that are familiar with reggae and probably my music. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be doing some songs that are. Um, on the shows coming up and, and, and the shows that I've done here before, I always do songs that are um, probably not really always known in the States. Mm -hmm. um, like, the, for instance, there's some songs, like a song called um, Baby Girl, uh, which is my first song ever done. I know that some Japanese girls will know this song. Mm -hmm. That, that kind of affects the performance. Okay. If you had a free day in Japan, what would you do? Where would you go? How would you spend it? Well, I like, I like, um, you know, basically testing out that when we're on tour, we don't have much time to do much sightseeing often. I like, I like to do restaurants. Yeah, I heard you like sushi. <laughs> yeah, so we did, we went to, went to the fish market yesterday and, and did that. I think definitely before we leave here in a couple of days, We'll be going back to a couple more sushi joints. Um, what do you think of Japanese women? Oh, actually very, very polite. There's a language barrier. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, things like pouring my beer, like, you know, <laughs> for me and, and, and that kind of thing. It's just very, it's something I'm not used to all the time. Yeah, and beautiful too. Yeah, a lot of style, <laughs> different types of style. I kind of like it. In my school, back in Woolmers in, in school, we to, the, the motto was um, Agi Quad Agis, which is a, it's um, Itali uh, Latin, and it means whatever you do, do it well. Um, I think that, that stuck in my brain, but also a motto of Jamaica too, out of many one people, is stuck in my brain. Um, and, and also a matter of, of, uh, of Snoop Dogg drinking gin and juice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs>